Um, you have two minutes. Uh, thanks, uh, uh, Last Can. Um, I'll just say, Minister, obviously I, I do recognise the importance of the bill and, and the fact that you know the widespread discussions you've had and consultations um, and the necessity you know to, to bring uh, bring forward good governance uh, and and the, the establishment of the, of the you know Rasia uh, Kun and uh, all of that that entails. So I, I don't think we want to endow on on Julie um, hold up the the progress of the bill, but I, I still believe these amendments are reasonable amendments. Um, uh, you, you've said, for example, that uh, the, you know, making the white list and enforcing it under these um, amendments um, I is impossible. Uh, yet, I mean, when, when you look at international trade, you find all kinds of, of uh, restrictions and rules. Where, you know, we've been getting used recently to President Trump uh, introducing different kinds of sanctions and, and tariffs and so on unilaterally uh, across the board. And uh, you know, quite clearly, um, despite the AG's advice. Um, uh, uh, what, what you're saying in this, in this regard, it just, it, it just absolutely um, is not the case. I know our colleague, uh, Senator Luan, um, she mentioned, I think, uh, when uh, the similar amendments were put in Shannadair and herself and the, and the Civic Group, um, and uh, she said, uh, of course, that the, um, it is possible uh, to seek a, a derogation under Article 36 of the Treaty on the Function of the European Union uh, based on public morality, public policy or public security or the protection of the health and life of humans, animals or plants. So clearly there is a legal basis for what we're seeking to do here and, and the simple idea of the white list, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, genesis of it comes from uh, the excellent uh, dog uh, advocacy group, um, Dogs Trust, was simply to protect the animals because we had so endless horror stories of what happened to our dogs uh, in, you know, in, in jurisdictions like China and indeed other jurisdictions, Macau and so on and so forth. So um, I think it's particularly, uh, you know, regrettable that you you feel you can't accept a, even Amendment 7, uh, the, 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 the annual reports, because again, it would seem to me with a, a small additional uh, uh, um, invigilation, uh, it should be possible to at least have this information or have a stab at getting this information. But again, Minister, uh, I hope at some stage to be able to put, uh, when it comes forward in the, in the draw or whatever, uh, to, to get an opportunity to put forward the, um, uh, the, the Greyhound Bill, Welfare Bill in my own name. Uh, but I think until then, uh, it, you know, you, you should give serious consideration to including the definition of the white list uh, of, of countries um, who don't have the requisite um, uh, standards for animals, for animal welfare, and indeed all of the other amendments which seek to give impact to this, especially uh, at least Amendment 7, because it's simply a case of asking you to do the report. Uh, thanks, Lascan.